What's up? Let's talk sleeping pads. Sometimes they are straight up uncomfortable. Sometimes they're too thin. And sometimes they're too big and bulky. Or they could be just perfect, like the Deluxe Q-Core from Big Agnes. Now with that intro, you might be thinking, is this a sponsored video? Honestly, I'm flattered that you think we are big enough to have a sponsor. We're not. We spent our own money on these sleeping pads. We love them. I figured why not do a good, honest review to share the love because I want you guys to know about cool, functional things also. Before we get into it, let's just take a really quick step back. I'm Gio and this is Allie. We live in a van with our kids. It gets tight in the van, real tight in the van. I mean, there are four of us living in the van full time. So sometimes we find ourselves in beautiful places and then we set up a tent and my daughter and I camp. This makes two less people in the van, which makes the van a beautiful place. A good sleeping pad in the tent is pretty much the difference between me waking up feeling like an 80 year old man or me waking up feeling like Floyd Money Mayweather. Sleep is important, we all know that, but I spend a lot of time sleeping on the ground. So I feel like I'm the guy to let you know when I find a good, high quality sleeping pad. This right meow is the Q-Core sleeping pad from Big Agnes, Deluxe. I got this recommendation from a friend and when I say recommendation, I mean, I watched his YouTube video. And when I say friend, I mean, sometimes he hearts my comments and then I heart his comment back. So whatever that is. Shout out to Dan's YouTube channel below for real. He gave me the recommendation for real. We're not friends. Maybe someday. Let's get into the reasons why I love this sleeping pad so much. And then a few of the negatives. Number one, it is thick. You cannot feel the ground. That's why it feels like it's cheating. I'm 170 pounds of lean ripped muscle. It's still just air. It feels like you are on a mini portable air mattress. This next one you can actually see really well from that angle. This is just a flat surface. Most sleeping pads are like that. Here you see the pillow top surface, all right? So it gives these little air pockets just a little bit more room to get up and feels really comfortable when you're sleeping. The other piece to it is the rails along the side are a little bit higher, so slightly raised. You can see it from this angle as I pan across. Now, it looks super subtle, but it actually makes a difference. So when you're sleeping, you're kind of compressing this piece down in the middle, which makes it even more of kind of this channel that you're sleeping in to keep you from rolling off the pad. Oh, what's this you might ask? Well, this is the inflation sack. So instead of going mouth to nozzle, which is so old school now, you can attach this, as you see in the video, right to the inflation hole. Now, that will not allow air to come back out. It will only allow air to go in, which is very convenient. You just let a little bit of air in the sack, roll it down, and then it starts to inflate your pad. So you can save your lungs for more important things, running, biking, hiking. Two more quick ones. It has a 4.3 R value, so it will keep you warm at night. Not sub-zero temp warm at night, but below 30, it's a little cold. It's gonna keep you off the ground and toasty. It is also small. Check out the comparison between our new sleeping pads versus our old sleeping pads. These cost a lot. Now, depending on where you get them, how you get them or when you get them, you're looking at a little bit under $200. Now, we have the 25 inch wide by 78 long and 72 long. So the price will vary depending on what size you get, but I'm not here to complain about that. It is just a negative to the whole piece. Sometimes if you want something that's high quality and performs well, you gotta pay the price. The other negative is Big Agnes. Says this is quieter when you're moving around in your sleeping bag. But just to the touch, I'm really not feeling a difference on how 
much quiet it is, which is a thing. I move around in the sleeping bag a lot. If it was quieter when I moved on top of it, that would be a good thing. So if you're due for an upgrade or if you wanna make a camper friend really happy, then I would highly suggest picking up one of these to upgrade their sleep.